Uh, thanks for coming. My name is Attorney Amar Dillon. I represent Amanda Wright and her family for a wrongful death claim against EGA Trucking. This was an avoidable accident. This was a, a decision the driver of a truck made to get behind a wheel and had been drinking and was arrested at that scene for drinking and driving. He should have never been hired. He should have never been behind the wheel. And because of his actions, he's going to cause Amanda's two wonderful daughters to grow up without a mother. He's going to cause Lou and uh, Marvin to lose a daughter and her multiple siblings to lose their youngest sister. Every year over 1,100 Texans drive, uh, die because of drunken and driving. And this is something we can avoid. This is something that should have been avoided on September 19th, early morning, when Amanda was driving home and uh, just from a concert uh, and stopped in traffic. And then this 18-wheeler decided to get on the road after drinking and not able to stop in time and take in Amanda's life. At this point, I want to turn this over to Sarah. She's Amanda's oldest sister, and she can ask, she can talk about Amanda, what a great mother she was, what a great daughter she was, and just a sibling and a mother she was. Thank you. Uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> Amanda was a very loving, kind, beautiful sister, daughter, aunt, to many nieces and nephews. <sighs> Sorry, but she was always there for anybody when they needed to her. She always had a bright smile on her face. She was always kind and loving, which I'm sure I've already said. Um, mom, she had been staying with mom for the last month. They had really gotten a lot closer than they've been in a while. Leaning on each other. Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's talk about her children. She has two beautiful daughters. One is 19 and in college and one is eight years old. She was always there for her, there for them both every day that she could be. She picked them up from school. She was very active in their life. She enjoyed family outings and her kids' sports. She was always a good sports mom. Hobbies. Sorry, I'm just having a meltdown. <laughs> Edit that, please. <laughs> um, she was a gardener. She loved, yeah. She she loved. If you imagine anybody loving to clean, she loved deep cleaning. Oh my gosh! I hit her in my house, and if I walk in there, it's shine. <laughs> I'd be like, "Come back, please." Yeah, she's really into deep cleaning and gardening. She loved the outdoors. She loved being just with. She was always in bed by 8 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah. She was always in bed at 8 o'clock at night. She worked at 5 o'clock, so 8 o'clock it was go to bed time. Yes. Um, help me here. Yeah, definitely. We want to... Um, <laughs> I'm we, sorry. We, no, no worries. Great. Uh, we want to thank the Fort Worth Police Department and the Fire Department. Oh, absolutely. Yes. They really tried everything they could to save her, get her out of the car. Uh, unfortunately, it was too late. Um, we will be setting up a GoFundMe to help the children and to help her pa uh, family as well. Uh, we will give you guys that information for the GoFundMe so you can post that on to your news stories. Okay. Any other questions? Anything? What happened? What do you guys understand as what, to what happened? Our understanding was she was uh, coming home. She was a designated driver uh, coming home from a concert. There was traffic on 820 West uh, early morning of September 19th. As she was stopped in traffic, there was cars in front of her. Uh, unfortunately, she was rear-ended by a 18-wheeler uh, uh, owned by EGA Trucking. Uh, the driver was was over the over uh, the, the level of intoxication and uh, was drunk. Didn't stop, to our understanding, didn't stop. Ran over her car, and uh, she was uh, pronounced dead at the scene. 
There is another passenger who was released from ICU yesterday, has uh, significant injuries as well. Uh, so, uh, the, as a result of uh, a decision made to drink and drive of an 18 wheeler. How many total were inside the car of the police? Uh, Amanda's car was her and her friend. And as we said, her friend was released from ICU yesterday. I uh, don't have any other additional information I can give you at this point. Uh, the injuries were pretty significant for the passenger as well. Can, can I ask, is, is the passenger here at Morena, just to have everybody I, I correct? So. Okay, and what concert were they, were they at? Uh, Slipknot in Dallas. Was, um, oh, I bet you, can, 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 we talk, can we ask the sister? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I, I mean, I bet she was probably excited about this concert and just to know that she was the designated driver and for this to... I can't even imagine, but she would, how, how excited was she for this moment? Oh, she loves going to it. She loves concerts. She loves, you know, she loves any kind of outdoor outings, and it's an outdoor theater, so. She really country. Oh, she, yeah, I mean, <laughs> she listens to all genres of music, so it's a little out of my league, but, you know, but uh, she does enjoy all kinds of music and all types of concerts, and she, and she was excited for going. Whenever uh, we say designated driver. I don't believe that her and her friend were drinking. She just knew where she was going better than than the friend did, directions-wise or anything like that. So she was like, yeah, I know where I'm going. I'll, I'll get us home or whatever. And that's how it ended up in this situation. Did you know what concert did you say? Sorry, if I missed it. Was, uh, it was like a Slipknot and no. somebody else, but I'm not sure about that. Like I said, it's not in my league. <laughs> <laughs> did Amanda work outside the home, or did she a stay-at-home mom? No, she does work outside the home. She's mostly been in uh, management retail, and she uh, she was doing resets at this present time, like on grocery stores. She does resets of grocery stores and, and uh all different, well, they do all different kinds of stores. CVS, Walgreens, like grocery store. Yes, yeah, she just resets the store, like, to when they move things around. I think a lot of people did a double take when we heard. I mean, unfortunately, we do have a lot of drunk driving crashes um, in Texas. But then when, when we heard that it was the driver of a ginormous vehicle, like, the, I, I, right. how can you? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> She's got, a, I think she just got a little bit of a cold and lost her voice it's from all the crying so. lately. <laughs> how, can, how can you even, can you wrap your head around someone allegedly, I mean, getting behind, not even just a vehicle? Not, yeah, no, I cannot. I can't even, I can't even fathom it. There I are so many people that think they can drink and drive. Mm -hmm. And this was just a bad example of you can't. Let me hold that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I can't fathom it. It is bad enough that anybody would drink and drive. But besides that, get behind an 18-wheeler, which is considered a deadly weapon in just in general because it's such a large, that's why you have to have a special and license. And the big trucks do speed up at night. That's why you have to have a special license to drive those vehicles because of the requirement and the, the heavy machinery that it is. Do you have a message for anyone who chooses to, to drink or consider Absolutely. Drinking? Please, reconsider drinking and driving. Get a designated driver. Stay home. Do whatever you have to do, but you're taking innocent families' lives. It, sorry. It's senseless. Yeah, it's senseless. Can, can we, have you been able to, to learn anything about the driver's background about this company, I know that obviously it's still yeah. very early. It, it's still very early. Uh, the Tarrant County District Attorney is working on, on the criminal aspect of the case. Uh, until there's a grand jury indictment, they're not releasing any additional information. Uh, it, it is a small trucking company out of Dumas, Texas. Uh, that's all the information we can share at this point. Don't know how long he's been driving? I, I do not know. We do not have any information on, on uh, that. We have, uh, that's part of our investigation at this point. We're getting a his background, driving background check, as well as uh, his CDL license, everything else. You mentioned an immigration hold. Uh, there, at this point, there's there is that. Uh, I can't really discuss anything further besides the fact that uh, 
Uh, uh, we were advised by Tarrant County District Attorney that there is an immigration hold. Florida. It's for not bond, right? Yeah, right. They, uh, the bond is with the immigration hold. Uh, they're not going to release them at this point. If you could, I don't even know if you want to, but what would you say to this man who's alive, in jail, about what he's done to you guys? Well, I'd like to say that your act was senseless. You took a beautiful woman from our family and left her daughters motherless and a sister and an aunt to nieces and nephews that loved her dearly. I hope that you have plenty of time to think about it because We'll have to spend the rest of our lives without her. What happens now, I guess, with this investigation or moving forward? Uh, what we're moving forward with is uh, EGA trucking. Uh, we are filing a wrongful death suit against EGA trucking. Uh, and at that point, uh, th that's our main concern at this point, is, is to get justice for our survivors. How far was Amanda from home? Probably about 20 miles. How far from 820 to, to Springtown? About 20 to 25 miles. So she was headed to Springtown? She, was, yeah, she was on the last fourth of the way. Right? <laughs> yes, that's great. She came from Dallas, and she was about 15 to 20 miles from home when the incident happened. I think one of the, um, the first accounts from this driver, he it almost seems like he put some of the blame on her, because she was driving, correct? That's the silver car she, she was, was driving. driving. So he, it sounded, if I read it correctly, that he told police that he saw sirens and that the car in front of him just stopped, just out of nowhere. So it, I mean, uh, just I haven't heard it Yeah, according no. to our investigation, there was traffic slowed down. Every, uh, the traffic on 820 was down to one lane. Because uh, of so that it was It was construction, yeah. so people were moving slowly. In fact, uh, our understanding, Amanda's vehicle was at a dead stop because of traffic on 820. Uh, so I, I don't know where that recollection that he has is coming from. Uh, the car was uh, was standstill along with traffic in front. Is there anything that we did not ask or that y'all want to say, anybody? No, I just um, like to ask that all of y'all pray for our family because we need it, and our and her children and. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And the next two days are the worst. That's correct. The next two days are going to be the hardest. If we get past Saturday, we just have to start to heal. Is that the funeral service? The funeral is Saturday. Saturday yes. The funeral is Saturday. The, uh, the viewing for is Friday night. Of course, Which? it's closed casket because of the injuries. Severe injuries, yes, that's correct. No open casket. What kind of vehicle was she driving? It was a, it was what I understand, a 2020 Corolla. Mm -hmm. Would you say and spell your first and last name? My name is Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, Wright, with a W, W-R-I-G-H-T. I'm Lou, Lou Wright, L-O-U. Her first name is Eddie. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's old school. She's Eddie Lou, though, for the news. Eddie Lou, right. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.